Well done for scanning your first QR code. This video is about what happens to light when it hits glass. Light travels incredibly fast in air but slows down when it reaches a material like glass. Here is a light ray indicated with a terrible arrow. Here is some glass, the object in blue. If the light enters the glass along an imaginary normal line, it still slows down a bit, but goes straight through. We call this the normal line because it is at a right angle to the front face of the glass that it's entering. This square here indicates a right angle. If light enters a block of glass at an angle, the light slows down a bit and bends back towards this normal line. This is the normal line, remember? This bending back of the light towards the normal line is called refraction. And it's spelled like this. So what happens to the light that's refracted through the glass once it leaves again? This time, the light, as it leaves, speeds up again. And this causes it to refract away from the normal. So you can see the angle away from the normal line has increased as the light ray leaves the glass block. Let's just summarise all that. So. If a, light, if a light ray enters a glass block at a straight angle, at a right angle to the face of it, it goes straight through. It does speed down a bit, but carries on in the same direction. If it enters at an angle, the light ray refracts towards the normal line, this imaginary line at a right angle to the face of the glass block. And as the light ray leaves a glass block, it refracts away from the normal line. Oh, and just so you don't forget that word, there it is. Refraction. Okay, why does this matter? Refraction is a process your, the lens in your eye uses to focus light in order to allow you to see. Jewelers also use techniques from refraction to cut diamonds so that the light bends and goes through them and makes them sparkle like this. Now you've watched the video, answer the questions on your worksheet. And if you're really stuck, remember you can always rewind bits of this or use the help sheets placed around the room, but only use them if you really need to. Okay, off you go.